Hello, welcome to the online tutorial for using 360 video stimuli for exposure therapy. I'm Dr. Andrew Sherrill, a psychologist with the Emory Healthcare Veterans Program. Stand up. This video, as well as most videos, are meant to be seen from the standing position. Let's get you familiar with your headset. Let's look up to the ceiling. Now look down here. Look to your left to see the Braves jersey. Now look to your right to see the court board. Now look at me and do a slow 360. You'll see there's only two people in the room, you and me. For this technology to work, your vision has to be crisp. So look at this logo. If it's not crisp, take your headset and move the lens either inward or outward. If you've got contacts, wear those. If you have to wear glasses, play around with this as, for as long as it takes until your vision becomes crisp. For sound, I recommend you don't use the speakers that are in your smartphone. Plug in some headphones. That'll give you a clear sound and it'll give you a 360 sound experience. So as I move from one part of the room to the next, the sound of my voice will also change from your left ear to your right ear. As you're watching these videos, you might want to stop them. All you have to do on your headset is press this button or that button and the video will stop. To continue the video, press either this button or that button. Are you feeling more comfortable? This is a very important question. Do not do any of the tasks until you feel comfortable with this technology. To get more comfortable, watch this video again or watch some neutral videos. Don't try to familiarize yourself with the technology using the exposure targets. All right, it's time to start doing your exposure. You are intentionally exposing yourself to virtual environments that cause anxiety or some other difficult emotion. This is an intentional process. You are not going to escape. You are not going to do anything to calm yourself down. You are going to do this again and again until you learn that you can handle the distress and that the distress will eventually go down. If you escape, you are only telling yourself that you cannot handle it. Your exposure ends when the video ends, or when your discomfort has gone down substantially. Thanks a lot for listening to this tutorial. We really hope these online videos are useful tools in your long-term recovery, getting back your life. Thanks a lot. We appreciate any feedback we can get.